I'm Aaron. I'm Emily. And this is OGT. Back again, and, and you know we've got some new and fresh stuff to talk about. We're getting closer and closer to that holiday season, so, so you're gonna get a chance to tell people what a good New Year's resolution is. Yeah, what you can really do to make yourself feel better, Absolutely. be better. Absolutely, we've got a couple sports topics on the lineup today. There's gonna be Andrew Budish talking about a sport that doesn't really exist at the moment. I'm gonna be talking about a Toronto sports team that's really doing well and that did well for themselves so far. Uh, and then you know we're gonna start off today's show with Kirk telling people how to avoid being sick, because I don't know about you. I always get sick in the winter. Exactly. I've been getting sick on and off with the stif sniffles and stuff. So here it is, telling you how not to get sick. Did I miss a story? I'm actually feeling a little down myself. That's why you caught me in bed here. And uh, I was thinking, hey, why don't I just talk to some of the people and what you, know, what you can do to avoid uh, being sick or what you should be doing uh, if you are sick. All right, so as you can tell, I've uh, thrown on a sweater. You, you know, step one, stay warm. That's what you want to do. You know, if you, you get cold, you go outside, I get, you know, have a coat on, something like that. And keep you warm and keep you healthy, okay? You don't want to be getting sick, not at this time of year. Uh, other things you could do, uh, don't be sharing drinks with people. Unfortunately, sometimes you do get sick and that sucks. There's a couple things you can do. A, lots of sleep. Sleep's important. Uh, you want to be getting, uh, you know, 8 to 10 hours a night easily. Don't be staying up late on those assignments. It's not going to help you in the long run because you're just not going to have a clear head for exams, and that's really key. Uh, the next thing, lots of OJ, vitamin C. That's important. Lots of fluids. I've got lots of water bottles here. I've been drinking water like crazy. It's really helping. Uh, lots of fluids in your body. You really need that. Also, cough drops. I've got hauls here. I, you know, I've been sucking these things back. They really help make you feel better during the recovery process, and that's going to make the whole thing a lot easier. Uh, also, Humber has a drugstore on campus. Now, that's good because it's cheap. Uh, it's accessible for us students. Uh, you know what? That's It's necessary. You need cough medicine. You need things like that. Your Buckley's. Uh, it tastes awful, but it works. You know, those kind of things. Th that's necessary. You want to get back to normal as soon as possible, especially I mean, this time of year. Exams are just around the corner, and you want to have a clear head for that. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping I'll feel better soon. I'll see you guys back in the studio. Uh, if not, back to you. So that's a helpful bit of information for everyone, including myself. I mean, personally, I just got over being sick, and I don't want to get sick again. So, so that advice helps me. It, it helps everyone. So make sure you pay attention to what Kirk had to say. But for now, let's hit you up with some sports talk. Argonauts football, ladies and gentlemen. The Toronto Argos have won the Grey Cup championship this past Sunday, November 25th. They won it all. Toronto hasn't seen a team in the playoffs other than the Toronto Rock, but the Toronto Rock, right? Uh, they haven't seen a team in the playoffs since 2007, okay? In 2004 was the last time that the Argos won the Grey Cup. This year, they won it all. They did it all. It, it was a great feeling. I got a chance to be at the game. I got a chance to experience everything around it. I mean, there was a great halftime show consisting of Justin Bieber, Carly Rae Jepsen, Mariana Trench, and Gordon Lightfoot. Didn't really know much about Gordon Lightfoot, but everyone in the crowd was cheering. It was just all in all a great experience, but it was really good to bring not only a playoff atmosphere here to Toronto, but a championship here in Toronto because we all know that the city deserves it. But now, let's talk about a sport that doesn't exist anymore as Andrew Budish got a chance to interview a professional NHL player. Hey guys, I'm Andrew. I'm standing here at Canland Ice Sports where I'm going to have the great opportunity to interview NHL hockey player Chris Campoli about a very near and dear topic to him and all of the hockey fans, the NHL lockout. Let's see what he has to say. I'm here with NHL defenseman Chris Campoli. And Chris, how has the NHL lockout affected you? Oh, well, it's been difficult, obviously, uh, not being able to, to do what we love to do and, and uh, go to work, but um, you know, just uh, continue to try and stay ready. Um, uh, I've been a little bit, or done a fair amount uh, in the whole process, being in meetings and, and trying to be active and uh, learn about uh, what exactly is going on because I think it's important to be informed. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll be back in the next year and whatever. But it hasn't been easy. It's good to be home though, I guess. I, I'm not home often at this time of year uh, with my family and friends. Okay, so as you guys know, 2013 New Year is quickly approaching. So one thing that a lot of people like to do in the new year is make some resolutions. You know, we've got our typical resolutions. You want to go to the gym, you want to lose weight, you want to stop eating fast food. But I mean, those are typical things that we should be doing anyways all year round. So make that your resolution, sure, and stick to it. 
but maybe you should try and think of some more original resolutions. Maybe if you're a smoker, you might want to quit smoking. You might want to stop doing drugs. Maybe you want to stop drinking. Maybe you just want to make a commitment to spend more time with your friends, more time with your family, and less time on your smartphone. I don't know. It's all up to you. But anyways, that's it for today. I'm Aaron. I'm Emily. Make sure you check us out online, www.guhutv.ca, facebook.com slash guhutv. Our Twitter, at guhutv. Just hit us up with what you're doing over the winter break. Let, let us check it out. Let everyone get a chance to see it. But for now, stay blessed. Stay up.